Happy Fuck It Friday, B's and G's. Um, sorry, this is going to come out a little bit late this week, but it's been an absolute fucking crazy ass week. Fucking craziness going on around Fuck It, Let's Brew It Town. Um, what the fuck has been going on? Uh, let's see. I am. Let's see, what are we drinking, first of all? Let's get into this first. Doop. Today, we're drinking uh, Beauty and the Beast, I guess I'm calling it. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I make that noise a lot, I apologize. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. So we're using Backwoods Bastard Founders Doop. on the bottom, and then up top, uh, City Steam Blonde on Blonde. Kind of a nerdgasm at some point in time, I think. Blonde on blonde. I'll put a picture of the doop, maybe there, or uh, all over here to make, so you can see the bottles and whatnot. Um, that Backwoods Bastard is a pretty funky-ass bottle. I like it. Um, but, so, pale ale, scotch ale, let's get into it. Cheers. Happy Fuck It Friday. It's good. It's not the greatest, but its name works. So I, there we go. No, we're not gonna do that, Jesus. Last week, I was relegated to the basement. The basement is now fucked because we're re renovating a bathroom upstairs, which sits just above the brew cave dungeon jail cell. Um, so, because of that, I am in the garage. I'm noticing a trend here. I'm getting f pushed further and further away from the house. So apparently, um, in next week's Fuck It Friday video, I'll be coming to you live in a van down by the river. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I'm getting kicked out of my own home. Um, no, I'm in the garage, and I'm looking over this way at the garage. <clears throat> it is... Now, mind you, I just cleaned this garage and just brewed in said garage the other day and had ample space to brew, and I had a fucking lounge chair. I was reclining, I was leaning back, not as relaxed as, you know, Barrage Brewer and Lermo's brew days, but, you know, I'm with two kids, or, or I should say, or as <laughs> fucking laid back as Mike Dean's, uh, from the Dean's List, down the bottom, if you guys don't know Mike Dean, and Barrage Brewer and Larry. Um, yeah, not as fucking laid back as that. Um, but relatively easy peasy. It was spacious. I could dance. Not that anyone wanted to see, and not that the neighbors expected that at five in the morning or six in the morning when they looked out their windows, you know, fat guy dancing around a brew kettle. I was that close to having just a, a spear and a skirt, you know, dancing around my kill. Um, not really. beer. Um, but this is the state of the fucking garage as it stands. You ready for this? Doop. Mind that door. What in 
the absolute fuck. What the fuck is this? You see the grain mill, right? Boop, there. SJ Mine Works, man. I don't know, buddy. Um, yeah. Five pounds of shit in a two-pound bag. Like, seriously, what the fuck? I mean, we're paying these guys to remodel the house, and they've completely unmodeled my garage. Demodeled, deva- oh, I don't know what the fuck they've done. Um, there's some stuff that's in over here that are somewhat hippie contractor would like to say gets redo you know reused recycled i mean i'm as green as the next guy but you know reuse recycle regurgitate half of this shit is fucked up i don't want to put it back into my house don't make me fucking sick <sighs> anyway <clears throat> so they fucked up my garage and now i'm sitting in here drinking beer and pissed off because I'm going to have to clean it all over again. So if I want to brew next week after the holiday, fuck, I'm going to have to clean it out. Well, uh, other than that, um, I had a double batch brew day on Sunday. Like we just talked about. I brewed a Belgian uh, Strong Dark and Corporal's Mania. I brewed the Riz. Um, the, the Riz... Oh, God, my arm just hurts so much. Uh, the Riz is one of those batches that uh, Nate just talked about it, too, in his Sobeer video. I boiled the fuck out of that thing last year for two and change, two hours and change, and it never changed in volume. Uh, figured it was a fluke. First time I've done it. Only a couple batches in ever. So I figured, all right, well, I just chalk it up to just figuring shit out. Well... No, not the case. Um, I boiled the shit out of it again. Didn't change in volume this year. I don't know. Heard anything about that? Put it down there, because, I mean, I don't mind it. Beer always turns out great, but Jesus Christ, an extra two hours on the boil. I don't know. I can see why I'm going to be living in a van down by the river. If the wife has anything to say about these long ass brew days. Um, so I'll put some video up here. I, I tried to do, you know, brewing videos, brew day videos. Honestly, you don't want to see me brewing. I mean, it's not anything crazy. It's not anything special. It's um, just a bunch of beer that I'm going to chuck down my neck and give to other people for them to chuck down their necks. So, you know, I haven't... I mean, unless you want video evidence that I didn't shit in it, piss in it, or spit in it. Yeah, that was kind of gross, but either way, I didn't do any of that. I Honestly, I didn't. Um, so, you know, you don't need video proof. Um, and if it tastes good, proof is in the pudding that maybe sometimes spitting in things is okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm rambling. Um, so, yeah, we did those two... The two uh, fermenters are, one's in the fermentation chamber, the other one is just kind of hanging out, um, and they're cooking like crazy. They, st I started them Sunday night, well, Sunday afternoon, maybe within four hours they were already chugging, chugging away, and it is now Friday afternoon, and they are still chugging away. No signs of slowing down. So, I don't know. We got some big ones on our hands, I reckon. Um, what else? So those are down. The India Pale Saison, or what I'm calling an India Pale Saison, is I'm not sure yet. I've put a sort of a chastity belt on the keg. Um, I am not going to touch it, I promise. It's almost like a promise ring chastity belt. I am not going to touch that thing for another two weeks. Uh, let it carb and let it hang out. When I took a pull the other day, it was, well, it's too, I think it's too green. I'm hoping that it's too green. I'm a little afraid that the yeast may be 
um, maybe it like autolyzed a little bit, so it might not actually be um, healthy-ish yeast. So, but I'm holding hope because the aroma it was still fruity as shit. So I think that it's all right. It's just I gotta take my time, you know. Whisper sweet, sweet nothings to this thing, and you know you just can't jump right in. You gotta work it up a little bit. So, um, you know, I'm gonna give it time. Give it time. Uh, what else? I have a ton of beer mail that I need to start doing reviews on because they're the most amazing beer mails I've ever had. So, again, thank you to Fresh and Elder P, to the my boys at Under the Table. Fucking awesome. Um, I'm about to get into those. So, I do... I am intending to get on camera and put this ugly face out on the interwebs with uh, reviews of those. So hang tight, my buds. Hang tight. Uh, let's see. Thanks to Josh Secor. He got the experimental beer mail that I sent out last uh, last week and did a review to that. I'll put it down in there, um, the link to his channel, not to that review because I'm not shamelessly self-promoting, although I am, but I'm not more promoting Josh because he's the shit. Um, yeah, they're out there. He was, uh, I was trying to fuck with him, trying to fuck with folks, and uh, I don't know. I think it worked. It was kind of fun to change the rules of a beer mail a little bit. So, um, I don't know. There's going to be more of that coming up a few more ideas that I've got, but I'm going to keep them shtum first, um, so, but we will have more of those, so keep your eyes, keep eyes peeled. Uh, thank you to Tony Yates for trying the last remaining bottle of Pearl, the last remaining bottle of the high, of the Silent Highwaymen from last year's 2014 SJ Poor Challenge. I'm gobsmacked that uh, that you gave that a shot, that you even cammed up, and uh, thank you for drinking that, dude. That was fucking awesome. Um, that uh, that was the last beer, and it wasn't intended to live for a year. Um, a beer with no hops. Fuck me. Brave as a motherfucker. You are, but... Thank you, dude. Um, that was that was super super ridiculous. I'm well honored. Um, I've watched you for a long frigging time, and so for you to have one of my beers is an absolute fucking honor. So, cheers on you, my dude. Um, and then just thank you to everyone who's subbed this week. It's been a crazy fucking week, and uh, all of you new folks, thank you for coming along for the ride. Um, but I want to say thank you to you. I haven't had an orthodox career, and I've wanted more than anything to have your respect. The first time I didn't feel it, but this time I feel it, and I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. I can't promise that it's going to be the most exciting ride all the time, um, but we're going to we'll have fun, maybe. I'm going to try to. Um, but thank you for, for joining up and getting on board. This is fucking humbling. So you guys are fucking awesome, and I hope you stick around. I hope I don't piss anybody off. It's been known to happen, so sorry if I do ahead of time. Maybe that will help you uh, give me at least one pass. I don't know. Anyway, it's just awesome. It's super awesome that you guys are here. So... Cheers. Um, again, Gadoosh. happy fuck it Friday. Uh, this beer, I mean, it wasn't just by namesake only, I guess. It's uh, actually pretty fucking good. Cheers. Um, yeah, Beauty and the Beast. That works. I like that. Okay, I've rambled long enough. You guys have probably thrown up in your throats twice now. 
watching me sit here and drink a beer and shake this camera around. So, hope you guys have a really fucking great weekend. Cheers for subscribing. Cheers for sticking along for the ride. You guys fucking rock. Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. Later. What the fuck are you talking about?